Morning. Off to work. Doors open, safely in. Lights on. <laughs> Off and running. Weather good, track fast. To Warwick Farm. The feature event, the verbal stakes. They're on the track. Now they're off now in the first. Pearl of Sydney down on the inside. Come past the 200 metre mark, it's Royal Machine going up on the outside. Six barrier trials, six finalists in a race caller's talent quest run by radio station 2KY and the Australian Jockey Club. It can give the, the public something that uh, makes the races a lot more fun for them, you know, I think that's the thrill of it all. Carla's dream from the inside was one of the best to begin. Are they round the bend and on straightening, it's all systems go. Well, I was extremely nervous, I have to admit, I get nervous about everything, but... Each boy and man with his own nervous habit, some finding rhythm worth repeating. The best three will call it Warwick Stakes Day next month. All of them salivate at the chance to one day walk tall. I'd like to call over the PA at Flemington, that'd be good. And then a Melbourne Cup would be good too, yeah. If that opportunity ever arose, yeah, it'd be wonderful. It would be a dream come true. At 13, Blake Ryan is young enough to still be on the milk. But his voice is years from curdling. Rocking up there is gold class, been ning it on the inside, then behind them now would be Isles and Black Mailer together. At the other end, Max Bayless, an auctioneer. Put your house on him. He has glasses befitting a Navy Admiral. You can see a moustache at about 10 miles, you know. To talk of the turf, when next you're at the track, remember the names. A beautiful start by Matthew Hill. And here comes Murray Nelson down the outside, followed by Nat Wallace. And put down the glasses, Max Bayless has won it now, run on the post, three lengths clear of his nearest rival. And they're all worth following. James Knight, 10 News. <laughs>